Yuga Labs, I'm sure everybody knows, but they've uh, accused Ryder Rips of scamming consumers with fake board apes in a new lawsuit that they have filed. You know, uh, it was pretty much as soon as the show ended on Friday that they they came out with their uh, their like press release, pretty much uh, right. saying that all of the uh, the Ryder Rips FUD was fake was is at least you know that's their claim and i thought it was actually really smart on their part strategically to wait till ape fest and nft nyc had ended and then essentially the day it ended they dropped all of this um kind of rebuttal and then i think it was it was either the same day or it was saturday it was it was shortly thereafter that they then announced they were filing this lawsuit and i think it from what i saw it it, it uh, names two people um one of them being writer rips the other one from what i saw was it was like redacted or it was like you know it was, it was hidden so i couldn't see who the other um the other person was that was named in the lawsuit but it, they are saying that uh claiming that the online provocateur has been scamming buyers with falsely equivalent and nfts in a deliberate effort to harm yuga labs at the expense of consumers um writer rips referred to the suit as a self uh, oh referred to in the suit as a self-proclaimed conceptual artist as the creator of RRBAYC. We all know that. Um, and he, he responded on, on, on Twitter. Uh, and he said, he said that they, uh, he said, are they going to sue Dame Dash and Ethan Klein too? I think Ethan Klein from the H3 podcast had also pushed the, uh, the documentary it was kind of, you know, giving it, it was saying, you know, he thought it had validity. So, you know, I think Ryder Rips here is saying, like, is he the only one that's going to get sued here? Or are they going to go after the other people that were helping push? Uh, like, these is it someone else going to split this bill with me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and I, I tweeted out uh, on Friday, one, right? on Saturday, you know, it's, it looks like, um, you know, Yuga Labs figured out something for Ryder Rips to do with all that money he made off the project. And that's, I guess, yeah. defend himself in a lawsuit. So, uh, you know, I think this yeah. is going to be interesting as this uh, as this unfolds. It sounds like they're valued at about $4 billion, BA, or, uh, Yuga Labs, and they're seeking a jury trial. So this is going to be, you know, I, I hope that we, um, we get nonstop drips from this. Dude, so, and it's just like, time. it's so funny. Like, I don't know, man. It, like, the, you just see the... The, the believers in this mockumentary is what I, I I would call it a mockumentary instead of a documentary. Right. So it's like this mockumentary is made and there's people that just believe it. Right. A hundred percent. And the, oh, I've been so listening to spaces all weekend and it's still oh, a debate man. about is this real or not? And so it's, yeah. it, I, I mean, and it's, that's why it's going to be fascinating to see what happens with this lawsuit because uh, it's, this is such a, it's kind of complex because you have, this yeah. documentary. I mean, if you've right? seen all you have to do to like to get to, for me, what it was was seeing Ryder Rip's old posts, you know, previous posts. And so it's just like knowing just knowing that you just all of you know what's going on here, that you're that the troll yeah. is trying yeah, to troll. troll. You, he's a you troll. Know? Yeah, he's a professional yeah. troll, essentially. A, he, and it is a, a lot of people don't know that. I think they just don't know just, that, that guy I is know. is that that's what he does and so you know i it's like some people point that out and then other people just don't just ignore that and i i don't know it's yeah. it's still it's wild you know it's still it's our most viewed video still every day uh our <laughs> breakdown of it and it's our most hated video it's now got it's now get, getting way more down votes than up votes and uh the, the comments keep streaming in just uh you know and it's it's fascinating there's still people who do chime in and say that they think it's all a giant troll so you know, I I I think this yeah, is to I, be determined. And and it's right. So if you're if you're a believer in that and you're watching us right now, you're thinking that we're like some Nazi sympathizers or some shit, right? It's like all of a sudden uh <laughs> like we're we're just as bad because we, we think this is it's a documentary. Essentially this say that one like our you brilliantly this? made film, this great feed of journalism is uh is um uh, yeah anyway i'm i don't know where i'm going with this anymore but yeah it <laughs> sucks dude it, the whole thing is 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 uh is is garbage and um i just wish people weren't um you know weren't so easily 
uh, uh, persuaded Duped. just by, well, yeah, you know. You know, I got I kind of, yeah, it's like, this is like the, you know, it's just, it's, it's just so fascinating that it's just turned into this like giant, it's a conspiracy theory. I mean, it, that's what it is. And so, and we don't know if there's any validity to it or not at this point. And so it's turned into like the, the, the community splitting conspiracy theory. Like we finally got one, right? It's like, finally, we got a, a conspiracy theory to split the whole community up. And it's like, you know, we needed one of those. Politics has plenty of those. Well, we need one of those here in the crypto space. Um, so here's some of the comments. You know, burn B A B. This they actually said burn B Y A C. They they spelled that wrong. Uh, why would you make a 30 minute long video talking about a video you only spent 10 minutes watching? This is a recurring comment. Everyone just because Matt hadn't watched the entire just because I didn't through, watch the whole thing yet, even though I had. You know, it's like everyone likes to go after that. Um, you know what? I have to say something. I have to admit something. I still yes. haven't fucking watched the whole thing. Because <laughs> I get, honestly, I'm like, like I get about halfway through, through and I'm just like, this is, I'm done. Like, I already know what's happening here. I already know. I, I don't need to watch it. Like, I, I it's, it's just like, I don't have the time for that shit. No. Like, you know, it just oh, kind of, they kind of, because after after the ending was spoiled, right after everyone's like, "Oh yeah, they're gonna get pitch you the the whole project at the end," I just don't need to watch it. Like, it's like you know, if you know the ending of a film and whatnot, like if it's a spoiler, it's like why I don't really necessarily I'm not really that invested into it. You ready for this one? Amazing that anyone yeah. could look at all those coincidences and still be giving the benefit of the doubt. He almost called us Nazi sympathizers there. Uh, and then someone responded and said, they got freaking exposed for running a Nazi telegram, telegram group chat. It's literally over for them. I haven't heard about the telegram Nazi chat. That's that's an interesting turn. I, I hope uh, we get some screenshots from that. Um, and then, you know, this person says, uh, I don't think people understand this is not usual internet drama conspiracy. This is straight up objectively an NFT project that was created with Nazi references littered throughout there can be coincidences sometimes, but what at what point do coincidences have to add up for it to be intentional? But hey, I understand if you guys just needed a bit more time to process the info. It's a good internet practice too. You know, that person at least has their head kind of screwed on. That's good. Yeah, well, like and and like these people, everyone's saying, Oh, this Yugo Labs lawsuit, this is it. This is their this is they're done for now because of this lawsuit. They're gonna they're gonna lose, and this is how it's gonna this, you know, they're gonna be all found out and everything like that so yep. it's like if it was if this video was true the yuga labs probably wouldn't have sued <laughs> you know what i mean they probably would, you just would think so like, and so well i've heard different. people in spaces that are like oh rider rips is going to be able to expose them more through the discovery exactly. process like and, exactly. and so there you know it's funny because both sides are now like figured out a way to get stoked about this like the rider rip side yeah. has figured out how to turn this into oh this is perfect this is going to be the downfall of board apes that's what yeah. they're all saying they're like oh they are screwing yeah. themselves by doing this is what they're saying so yeah you know and, and i see the their, argument and, and there's this argument they keep throwing around about like uh the ownership whether or not you have actually like inner in, intellectual ownership of your board ape and all that type of stuff but it's like i, I feel like that's totally separate than what the whole Nazi thing is, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you could make that argument, you know, that, that that's a gray area and whatnot. And uh, uh, maybe Sue Yuga labs on, on that kind of shit, but that's totally separate. Well, than what's them even being funnier. Nazi. I think the funniest part about this whole thing is that you have a internet troll that uses all kinds of racist imagery and, and words in his own trolling. That's right. Of rips accusing another project of being an internet troll project. So even mm -hmm. if that were true, it would just be like, okay, so you're the same thing as what you're accusing this thing of being. What's your yeah. point? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. Thank you for watching GMTV.